welcome back to my channel today and today I have a very exciting video for you guys I wanted to go ahead and show you a what's in my diaper bag essential video um a lot of the videos that I do on my channel are organization and they and you guys seem to like them very much so I wanted to go ahead and show you what I pack I do have three kids so I have become very good at knowing what to actually pack so if you guys want to see what's inside my diaper bag don't forget to stay tuned and if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below Follow me at JessieDavila1 on Instagram and on Facebook. And don't forget to hit notification bell to get notified whenever I do upload new videos. So for starters, um, like I said, I do have three kids. Um, the age eight, five, and a newborn baby. If you guys didn't know, I just had a newborn baby. Um, they're all girls, so everything's like pink and beautiful and just awesome. So I do... Um, like to be prepared if you guys know me like everyone that knows me knows i am prepared for like any possible scenario um i like to be prepared and organized just because i do have a lot of kids and i want to make sure um everything is taken care of so for my diaper bag i'm gonna go ahead and list it down below so it looks something like this it's not that big it's just the frame is a lot smaller on camera so as you can see um this is my diaper bag of course it's pink which if you guys are new to my channel, you guys probably don't know, but I love everything pink. So having three girls is just like a totally blessing because you have everything pink and you have an excuse to buy everything pink. So as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and show you the, um, the outside of it and then I'll go ahead and do a zoom in on what's actually inside. So as you can see right off the bat, let me see if I can zoom in. Um, okay, let me see how am I going to do this. Okay, so as you can see, it does have hooks. One on, on this one and one on the other one. And it is Velcro. And as you can see, um, this is what you attach to the stroller. That does come with the actual purchase. It does come with um, the outside pocket, this one, and then the two outside ones. Which it does fit a regular size water bottle. I normally do two on each side. Um, I've taken this for like every day um, when I'm on the go. I've taken this when we went to SeaWorld um, and just Disney and trips like that. So I've been using this um, with all my kids. Like I said, the oldest is eight. So this bag has lasted for a while. And then as you can see here, this is um, basically a diaper, um, diaper bag, like trash bag. And then here it does come out and it has like pink, um, actual bags. And then it has a zipper where you actually input it. These are actually fragrance baking soda odor eliminating type of bags. They're special bags just meant for diapers. So, you know, when your baby goes number two, uh, you don't like, it just gets rid of all the smell. So, um, it just kind of hooks. It does have, um, the attachment and then it does come with the actual Velcro. I did purchase this at Bye Bye Baby. Um, they did have different colors, but of course I want to do the pink one and they do sell the refills there too. And like I said, I got the rose scented and it smells like beautiful flowers and it just kind of disguises the scent of a dirty diaper. Um, it does have a big pouch like this. Sometimes I do hook it on the back. I love the actual straps, as you can see. Um, like I said, I'll go ahead and do an overview. Um, let me show you the top, which it looks something like this. So I'll go ahead and show you. Um, what, I'll go ahead and show you what I actually carry. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it in a different view, just to so you guys could actually see. But like I said, I'll go ahead and link this down below so you guys could actually know um, where to purchase this. This was one of the best purchases I did. Um, like I said, I'll do a separate Amazon like baby haul because I ended up kind of going through different um, purchases just to try to make life easier with three kids. So I'll go ahead and stay tuned for that. Um, but like I said, I'll go ahead and show you what's inside. Um, so you guys can kind of pick up some tips and tricks. I do have a lot of tips and based on um, just having a certain amount of kids, you kind of end up getting pretty much like a pro. A lot of people for some reason said that after three kids you become a mommy pro, which I don't know why, but three kids just give you a lot of experience when it comes to kids and just what works and what doesn't. I have tried multiple diapers and formulas and just knickknacks. So I'll go ahead and do a separate video just for that to go ahead and let you guys know for the new time mommies or if this is your second, third or whatnot, um, if you guys have multiple kids. So just to um, let you guys know, because sometimes on my third one, I didn't know what I, I wish I would have known with the first one. So the, I wish I had videos like this to kind of guide me through it. So I'm glad that now I'm able to kind of share all my tips and tricks with you guys. So 
go ahead and stay tuned and I'll go ahead and show you what's in my bag. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you an overview. I figured to do an overhead would be a lot easier. So for this particular um, bag, I did like it because it did have the actual straps, which these are actually Velcro. So you could just strap it on your actual stroller and these are removable. And they did come with the actual backpack, which I love. We're gonna go ahead and do that. And then for this one, I ended up picking this up, I believe at Bye Bye Baby. And these are actually um, diaper, diaper bags. Uh, yes, diaper bags. And they come in pink and they have like a rose scented ones, which is the ones I got. And these also come with the Velcro here. So as you can see, and it also does come with the clip. These help to neutralize like the poopy smell or any diaper smell that it does have because it does have baking soda and other ingredients to help eliminate it. And it does have an actual handle here and the regular straps. These are very cushiony, which I love. And then let me do the side ones first. So as you can see on this side, which looks something like this, I do have, I normally carry one of these um, dryer pens. These are perfect for stain remover and stuff like that, which work out really good. I actually prefer these over the Tide ones. They're just a little bit hard to find. And then I do normally just carry one water bottle just because it's kind of the only thing I normally use for the formula. And then in here, that's pretty much it. These are also insulated, so it's easier to kind of do when they actually start doing regular milk. For the other side, this is what I have on this one. So on this one, I have normally um, a toy for her just because um, this is kind of what would keep her entertained if I'm on the go or running errands. This is more of a jelly, so you could actually freeze her. You could just kind of do it like that since she is in this teething stage. This ends up working perfectly. I do have another one. I love these because it does come with a container where um, these help massage her gum so she's not in like pain and it helps her kind of soothe it. And then I always carry an extra strap. These are for the pacifier ones. I like these just because they do have the clip so it doesn't like mess up their clothes or make holes on it because it does have little silicones on the edges. And you just kind of fold it in and attach it to their actual clothes. And then these I like because you could use a variety of pacifiers since it's more of a universal clip. And then for here, I have my lint roller, which is like a hot pink. It does have a little mirror. And then I use this for like to remove lint since I do like to wear black a lot or just like if I need it for my sweaters. And then I carry a small A&D. This is probably like my favorite diaper rash one. Um, it works for burns, scrapes, minor cuts, and then it also helps with chapped skin and cracked skin. And then I normally carry a bunch of these. These are like my all time favorite. These are carabines, I believe they're called. And I use these to put either bags on the stroller just to attach things on it. So I do kind of use these to kind of clip the top part of the backpack. Worst case scenario, if it's too heavy, I just kind of use these. And that's kind of what I have on the side. So all these things have come in handy. I end up carrying this just because I do have three kids and this is the stuff that I have come across that have worked in every possible scenario. Um, and it works perfect because you could actually put all this stuff and it fits inside. And then on the inside of it, which is this, i do it like this. So on this um, particular zipper one, I have um, my little manicure set, which I end up using for everything. Um, I do have tweezers, nail clippers, a cuticle cutter, a nail file, and then these just kind of help to push your cuticles and stuff like that in case I got to um, cut my nails or the kids or the baby this ends up working and it's very compact and then I normally carry this is a Bluetooth um, it's a Bluetooth clicker that I use for my phone or my camera and it actually works for both you just link it with the Bluetooth and I'm able to take pictures and selfies and then I normally carry two different types of rubber bands uh, the regular ones and then these big ones for like if I'm doing buns or stuff like that And then I know I always take my coin first just because uh, I need either I need to get a snack at the vending machine or if I'm out and about and the girls want to get on rides or whatever or for parking as well. So we'll put that here just because it's handy and it's on the last bag. 
Alright, we're gonna put everything back. Okay, and then on this one, I end up putting all the like types of wipes that I use. So I use this one, which is the natural cleaning with baking soda. I use this for the pacifier, for the toys, for the teething. Um, and these are from the brand Mun Munchkin. And you could get these at your local Target. I end up using these and they end up working perfectly. And then I always carry Perel wipes with me. These are probably like the best smelling ones that I have found. Um, I do like it because I like to sanitize the carts so when I put the stroller for when I put the actual um, Car seat on or anything I need to sanitize normally when I pick up my daughter from school I always have her sanitize her hands or if we're out and about and we're eating um, I normally have them sanitize their hands before eating and then this is my go-to uh, They're called boogie wipes. So these are my go-to boogie wipes. I've been using these for years I like the grape one better than like the other ones. Um, it does smell a lot better So they're basically saline wipes that help with any types of boogers if they have the cold the flu or anything like that It helps just dissolve the boogers so it doesn't um, they don't get any crusties or anything like that And it just helps them clean that keep them nice and clean and then I normally always have tissue I know picking these up at Target. They're basically unicorn um, tissue, which the girls love and that's it for here you could actually fit if you guys carry your iPad you could actually fit it here and then let me get this stuff out of the way okay for the top it looks something like this so first and foremost um, these are my keys this is kind of what I use I normally have my car keys and then um, the keys inside so you can see I did customize them for like pink as well and then these are my go-to wipes that I normally use. These end up cleaning every possible mess. Normally carry about two or three diapers. And then in here, I end up putting normally one outfit. And then right now, since it's really cold, I normally carry one of her beanies um, to keep her head warm. And then I always uh, get a throw up rag just because you just never know. I do have extra stuff on my car. So I'll go ahead and show you a separate video on what I do carry on my car. Just um, as like for emergency purposes as well. So on the top of this, these are probably like my old time favorite um, formula holders. These comes in a pack of two and each pack has about five of these. And these are basically already counted. Um, you end up putting whatever formula you guys use and then you just kind of unscrew the top. And this fits in any bottle and it's just easier to take formula with you without making a mess. And these are very compact as you can see. So I normally end up taking these. And then I always take my planner with me just to kind of be on the go. If you guys haven't seen my planner set up, I'll go ahead and list it. In here, I normally just have one pen because I'm actually, I'm not, I don't normally plan on the go. Normally when I'm just doing my diaper bag, I kind of just do it like this and I normally just take my pen. I got this at SeaWorld. It's like the most beautiful uh, pink pen. It writes really nice and it's silver and I just, it just kind of reminds me of like when we went to SeaWorld because it was pretty fun. So I kind of just leave that in there. And then this one, it's a Victoria's Secret keychain that I got a couple months back. And it just has initials, VS, and then it just has the regular uh, shopping bag from Victoria's Secret. And I just kind of leave it like a charm. And that's there. And then for this bag, which I has bags here, one on each side, and then the back. So let me go ahead and show you what I have here. I'll go ahead and do it separate. So in here, I kind of leave everything in bags just because it's a lot easier to maintain. Every bag has its designated um, purpose for it. So in here, as you can see, it does have uh, lens wipes for sunglasses. My kids do wear uh, glasses, so it's easier to clean. And these are like my all-time favorite ones, which are our the target ones and it doesn't leave any residue or anything like that which is perfect and then in here where we live they actually don't give you any straws anymore and if they do it's like the cardboard ones which i hate which i ended up washing my straws so as you can see they're not here but okay so i ended up bringing one um these i just ended up washing because we just came back from sea world so this is basically what it looks like this one i normally have in my car and it comes everything folded and then it does come with its own brush so you can kind of wash it yourself. And you basically, depends on how big the cup is, you normally just screw it on. You either use it like this, or it depends on how big the straw is. These actually work perfect for like Starbucks um, venti. 
and you don't end up having to worry about like getting different sizes for straws this just basically just shrinks back depends on how big your actual straw is so this is tall grande and then venti depends if you guys are starbucks lover so and then normally you just kind of unscrew it and i normally just kind of clean it like that and then let it air dry and then i just pop them back in and then at each it comes with a pack of two so i have one in my car and then I normally carry one with me. And then I always keep Tums with me. And then for the deodorant, I actually end up using it for a bunch of things. Um, they help with zippers. A lot of the sweaters that we normally have, some of the sweaters either get stuck with the zipper. So I kind of just use this and it helps um, kind of slide zip up a lot easier. And then these are floss and toothpicks, which comes in a pack of um, one. So the toothpicks and then regular um, floss and then just like a mouthwash type so I kind of just end up leaving everything like that and then this just kind of stays inside which let me put this back in I'll use this and I'll leave this in here and it just lays very flat and it works um, perfectly so this is kind of what I take on the go and then the deodorant I also use it for when uh, my daughters or if I wear flats I use this on the back of my heels to prevent the friction um, so you don't get any blisters so this works perfectly moving on okay so the next um, I do have another one here, as you can see. So we're gonna go ahead and open this. And this is basically my electronics um, bag for everything. And these bags, I end up picking them, I think either Walmart or Target. So I have my regular um, AirPods that look something like this. Um, I actually don't clip them, but I did get these cute decals where, if you could see, um, they're pink. And then I also got the attachments to where it prevents them from actually sliding, which is like a, a cute baby pink. So I use that for that. So that's that. And then I normally keep um, headphones since I do have the 8 Plus. Uh, it comes with like different types of headphones attachments. So I have that. And then I always have a wall charger because my phone ends up dying most of the time. Well, before, not anymore. And then I always carry a regular um, charger. This is for more memory. So if I need to transfer pictures or whatnot, this basically works as a hard drive and I believe it's about 16 or 30 gigs so it works as a hard drive or you lower this one let me show you and then it works for like Android or if you just want to use it for as a floppy disk you kind of snap it back on it turns into a floppy and then this just turns it could be a charger a power pack and a storage so this is like on one which is perfect and then this is another one that I use in case I need more memory because I have been out and about and I run out of memory. So this you kind of snap back out. And then this gives you more, um, it gives you memory. And if you guys could see, let me show you. Let me see if it focuses. If you could see, this is actually a charger for my iWatch in case I forget to charge it at night. Normally I do it every uh, two to three days. So this is a portable charger for your iWatch and a uh, memory storage. So in case I need to transfer pictures on my regular iPhone or whatnot, I could just plug it in. And then at the same time, this is also a wall charger. So I kind of use this and this, and then you just connect it to the wall. Okay, so now that we've done that, basically this is just a regular iPhone charger as well. I'm actually have to charge the iWatch one because I've been using it and I haven't been able to charge it. It ends up working out. Okay, so now that we have that, that's the electronic bag. And then, as you can see on this one, um, this one I normally take it on the go. It depends on how long I'm going to be out. And it's basically pretty compact, just like the size the size of the iPhone 8 Plus. And this one has um, the regular headphones which apply for my daughter's um, tablet. So these work for my daughter's tablet which ends up working out. And then I do have different um, chargers here. Depends either for tablets, headphones, or whatnot. I have every possible charger here which ends up working um, perfectly. And then I just kind of put it behind the net and it keeps it in there. And then this is a portable charger that I normally keep and this is a dual so I could charge two tablets at the same time and my iPhone at the same time. Um, it also has another adapter so I could do about four things at a time. And this works pretty good. Um, which battery it has and everything so I normally just leave this with me. And this is the, the size of an iPhone as well so everything is pretty compact. Okay, 
So then my next option is this one, which I end up using it for like snacks. Which looks something like this. So this is just like a, I think, ear, um, headphone case. This is just a headphone case that I use and I normally put Jolly Ranchers or things like that just in case I need something sweet or whatnot. And then in here, which is the same section, I normally keep snacks on me in case I'm on the go. We like to do these or we do normally the, the Velveeta, those are pretty good. On the other side here, which I normally end up keeping, normally have a little razor when I'm doing like my eyebrows and stuff like that. I have this, which is like the perfect thing. Um, this helps you take the boogers out when um, your babies are still newborn or they're small and they're not able to like, if you're not able to take them out because their nose are really, really tiny. I actually prefer this instead of the ones um, where you suck them out because they just don't grab. And then this is just a regular nail clipper for my daughter. Since she's still a baby, I do have another um, pacifier holder. I have this one when the boogers are actually watery. If not, I just use that one, which ends up working. And then I have a hot pink thermometer, which comes in handy all the time. And then I have a baby file, just in case I need to file her nails or um, just to kind of smooth it out. So this is basically the baby section essentials. I end up picking this up, I think in a travel set. Um, and I kind of just end up working out because it has everything in there. And then this one, where is it? This one. Um, it works only when the boogers are watered. Like I said, the other nose picker ends up working a lot better just because um, their nose are really tiny, so fingers and stuff like that don't really work. If you're a mommy, you know what I'm talking about. So on the same side, as you can see, um, I normally carry a travel size uh, baby lotion in case I need to put lotion on her, um, on her little body. And then I always have a scrunchie because it's kind of what I use. It doesn't um, damage my hair. I normally keep baby socks and baby gloves. And then I normally carry lotion with me. This is probably like my favorite lotion. If you guys have dry hands, this works really good. And then onto this section. This is just uh, my personal feminine care, like tampons and stuff like that, that I need. And then this is like my little... Um, to go medicine cabinet or medicine supplies. Um, this is also smaller than the iPhone, so everything ends up working pretty compact. So in here, I normally have alcohol wipes, I have bandages, I have blister bandages, um, non-stick pads, I have disposable um, cotton swabs and they're individual, so it keeps it a lot more sterilized. I have gauze, which when I take my girls to the park or when on the get out cheese, I'm able to take care of it. And then let me show you guys. Okay. I'm telling you, this bag could stack stuff. So in here, I ended up cutting out the instructions because I do have different kits in different um, ages. So this is a medicine I normally carry. It's ibuprofen. Goes based on the weight, how much dosage. I got Benadryl. It tells you. I ended up just kind of... Um, gluing the directions in the back and then i have the tylenol i normally have the instructions in the back um these are just little um little bandages these are all my little bandages for like tiny fingers little cuts stuff like that i have these which are perfect for um blisters because they have uh, the silicone cover so it, it helps and then I carry this little pack with me, which are extra screws. It ha we have been out and about where my daughter's glasses end up losing a screw or the little pieces from the actual um, glasses. And then I also carry this little tool, which is pretty cool. On one side, it's a flathead. And then on the other side, it's a screwdriver, which works perfect for like their glasses. And then this just kind of helps eliminate it, um, get the screws as well. So it's like a little screwdriver, portable screwdriver. Um, and then all the little pieces that you'll possibly need when you fix eyeglasses. So if your kids have glasses, I highly recommend it just because it's a lot more affordable and it's just easier. Like I said, all the instructions are here. So I don't, there's different, I have different kids in different age groups, so it's a lot easier to kind of manage. And then here, I just got these little travel containers. I ended up putting um, kids Tylenol and I just kind of keep a few in here. Um, and then the Neosporin, I get the little travel one. And this is a pain relief, which kind of numbs it so they don't really feel their ouchies as much. 
I do have gauze to kind of use in case I need to put um, the actual uh, gauze and then just kind of tape it. And then this is, um, these are actual teething drops that I n normally use. It's a camellia. It's a little bit more of a natural remedy. Um, we don't use Oral-B anymore for since my daughter's teething. You normally just um, get this, pop it in their mouth, and it has chamomile and all these other natural ingredients. And we use these for her when she's teething or a little bit in pain, and they're just disposable. You just kind of put this in her mouth and it numbs her gums, so it makes it a little bit easier for her to manage. And then for this one, this one has a little bit of everything. I did label it Midol, Tylenol, and Benadryl, which is the kids' Benadryl, because um, my kids do have allergies. Tylenol, this is for me, and then obviously Midol, you guys know what it is. So I kind of just labeled it with my pink laminator. Um, so that's in there. And this ends up fitting perfectly in here. Like I could do like the basic um, emergency care here. Um, so it works out and everything just kind of compact here. I'm telling you, this bag holds everything. Okay, so that does it with the size one. And then this one is kind of, since I do have kids, um, they're so potty trained and all that stuff. So this one is actually a disposable uh, diaper changing tape and it looks something like this. It's super absorbent. Um, sometimes when you're changing diapers, you know that sometimes they pee. So this just kind of keeps everything sanitized. They're obviously pink, which is a door. So I normally carry two of these with me and they're just disposable. Um, changing pads for my baby when I am on the go. A lot of places don't carry these anymore, so I just kind of carry them with me. And then on the other section, let me show you. This is probably the coolest thing ever. It's a portable toilet. It's a portable toilet. So I normally just keep it here to keep it sanitized. Like I said, the sanitizing wipes come in handy as well. And it looks something like this. And you kind of just snap it on. And then here, it has a little grippies to hold the toilet and then it has the silicone pads here so it's not like sliding so when they sit down it doesn't move and this just basically makes it easier so when your daughters are going to the restroom or sons or whatnot um they're able to go to the potty without falling in which this has come in handy so much we use it all the time and i always carry it with me because a lot of the toilets are either too high or too big for them so it just kind of folds i clean it i sanitize it and then i just kind of pop it back in and it fits, it just makes it convenient. And then to go with those, I have these, which I normally carry a bunch of them. And these are um, disposable toilet covers. So I, I put these on and then I put the toilet on top of it. And that's what I use for my other kids. Um, I have an eight and a five year old. So this is kind of what I use. And they're like unicorns, they're super absorbent. So they don't get to touch, their underwear doesn't touch the dirty ass toilet. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you. And these are disposable. They come individually wrapped. Um, so these are toilet seat covers and then these are changing pads. So these are the extra large. So these actually go all the way towards the floor. So their pants, their underwear, stuff like that. Nothing touch the germs or anything like that. So, and then they come, they have little stickers. I don't know if you guys can see. They have stickers. So you stick them to the toilet so it doesn't move. Um, and then you just throw them in the trash when you're done. As you can see, these are pretty big. So this covers the sides of the toilet and then this covers, this covers like the end, like the, all the way to the bottom. And these actually touch the floor. So you don't have to worry about holding their pants or anything like that. And like I said, these are cute little unicorn ones. These are just disposable. So normally when we go to the public restroom, I put, I lay these down and then I use the toilet and they're able to sit without having to hold themselves. Like I said, I do have small kids, so just easier for them to kind of use a restroom. Um, so we do that. So I normally carry several with us. And then I carry an extra pacifier um, in case um, I lose one. Normally I take one with me and these are the event. And then these are just a, uh, I think it's a universal pacifier holder just to keep it sanitized. And then I end up using this spray um, normally when we have to poop or whatnot. Um, you just kind of spray it. It's like potpourri but cheaper. I think I got this at Dollar Tree and it's a lavender vanilla smell. You just spray it and it just makes the toilet and the restroom smell a lot better. So I normally spray this, put the actual toilet seat cover, toilet, and then they're kind of able to go without 
like making this bathroom smell. Um, so I normally just kind of store all the like the taller stuff up here and then everything ends up fitting like as you can see it's a lot of stuff but all this stuff has come in handy it just makes it easier because I do have three kids and they're all different sizes or not well yeah different sizes and different ages so it just makes it easier when we're out and about when I'm potty training them, when I'm changing them, just to keep everything sanitized, clean, and be prepared. That's it for my video for today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Help me reach to a thousand, guys. I'm almost at a thousand, which is like a total blessing. And I want to thank you guys for everyone that subscribed and that has joined me through my journey of um, being on YouTube. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for being so supportive. And like I said, follow me on social media on jessydavila one on Instagram and on Facebook. And don't forget to hit notification bell to get notified whenever I do upload new videos. I'll go ahead and link everything on the description bar so you guys could go ahead and check it out as well like i said a lot of stuff i were purchased in amazon which amazon is like my total fave like app to actually shop at so go ahead and see you on my next video